Hello, hello, all the wonderful YouTube people. Welcome to another episode of Card Survival Tropical Island. The new mayor here to bring you, well, a tutorial. What kind of tutorial? Well, I will make a tutorial how to survive without using coconut flasks. So yeah, let's start. So in the recent patch, the biggest patch, they introduced that you cannot uh, anymore make coconut flasks and coconut flasks were the most reliable way to survive between days, uh, well, between the first and the second rain, basically. And well, here I'm gonna show you some alternatives and well hopefully you can like learn from it and have a more enjoyable experience so thirst in this game it's a big issue so the question is how do you survive how do you survive if there is no um coconut flasks anymore well you will have to find a different source of water or find some way to make coconuts work i will show you both options uh, so, another source of water can be found in the wetlands, uh, in a form of a pond, and also in the wetlands cave in form of a constant supply. It is a bit hard, uh, like not hard, but like far away. So if you rush for that, you might find yourself in, well, some other types of trouble. Anyway, let's wash ourselves a bit here, I forgot to do it. You should uh, use your first day, so whenever you're hot, very hot, you should wash so you don't lose the, the water that fast. So yeah, forgot about that tiny, tiny, little, inty binty part. Uh, let me prepare these coconuts for uh, drinking in the evening. There we go. So I don't forget to do that. Uh, hot, okay, let's wash. Oh, well, I already made a tutorial how to survive first two days, so uh, if you don't know, maybe check that one out. But basically, bathe when you're hot, drink coconuts every couple of hours, don't get your diarrhea meter too high, and well, yeah, that's pretty much it. Seems like I'm finding a lot of coconuts on the beach. That's not reliable, but uh, you can always climb the palm tree. You will get bruised up a bit, but uh, you shouldn't worry too much about that. It will not kill you, it will just like annoy you, your morale will go down, but there are worse things in the world, so don't worry about that. Also eat all the nice uh, juicy shellfish and crabs you find, that will also hydrate you a bit. Let's drink another one maybe. Yeah, nice. Okay, we found jungle outskirts, um, we could explore it, I guess. Uh, or we could make some sandals and explore rocks, find uh, the rocks, find some... Uh... Uh, uh, uh. Well, let's use our feet a bit here. Let's use our feet a bit here because exploring the beach uses uh, doesn't make your feet hurt and this does. So maybe we could do that. First, I'm going to craft the coconut sandals though. So let's see. One, two... They're really nice, they, they protect your feet from well, damage. Mm, well, nope, don't want a pretty skirt. There you go. Maybe if I play a lady once, I'll make a skirt. Otherwise, ugh, I don't know. Oh, we are a bit sunburned, uh, doesn't matter. Let's, uh, let's wash, we are very hot. Uh, we don't have enough husks, so here I'll just, uh, well, probably continue exploring. If I find enough seashells, I'll put a necklace on, but it's, like, mostly of no consequence here, what you, exactly you do on the first couple of days. It's after that, how do you prepare for what is coming next? That's the, that's the real challenge. I would like to find some aloe vera, if I can, so I can get rid of this sunburn, but, uh, that's like, if it happens, great. If not, well, we'll be fine. Uh, let's drink another coconut here. As you can see, my diarrhea meter going up. So you should not overdo it because if you overdo it, then you start losing water rapidly. But with all this nice uh, shellfish and stuff that we found, we are doing pretty well. Mm, there's a rocky area, good. 
There you can find some extra stones and to make a, a campfire once uh, you are ready for it. Still not giving up on my aloe vera here though. Games like though here have some more snake grass, uh, some more lemon grass. And even some more lemon grass. Well, okay game, I get it, I get it. No aloe vera today, but they g did give me a lot of crabs though, so I shouldn't uh, complain too much. Yeah, the last time I played I also didn't find a lot of air on the beach, so I wonder what's up with that. Um, I'm gonna be a bit tired, so I'm gonna sleep a tiny bit here. Uh, this should get nerfed, like uh, burst, burst, burst sleeping, like for like 15 minutes and then waking up and... It's not, it's not really needed, but it does make you feel much better without back pain, so... Um, yeah, let's burst sleep a bit more here. Let's see. The well, diarrhea situation is like, ugh, so-so, but... Uh, thirst meter is amazing, so I'm pretty good, pretty good here. don't have anything really to do, so I'm just gonna sleep. There we go. There's a bit of a back pain happening. Let's wait for 15 minutes. There we go. So now we can continue exploring. Um, I am thinking about actually climbing one of the palm trees to get some more coconuts. Uh, I should do that. So I'm going to train some climbing first just to uh, reduce the chances of getting bruises. It's nice they introduced this option. So. Okay, well, we are not tired yet. Oh, we actually fell while training. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's go and try to get the coconuts then. Forever unlucky was the situation. Well, it's a bit dire. Okay, let's drink that one. Uh, that's fine. And I would like to... Let's eat some lemongrass here. Seven lemongrass. Okay. Alright. Uh, let me wash because I'm pretty dirty. Sunburn's going down. Which is nice. So we might not even need aloe vera here. Okay. Well, let me make a necklace so my morale feels a bit better. I'm not feeling like super pressured to like rush the, the campfire or anything like that. There's time for that. I would like a shelter for day three though. So we're gonna do that. So we're gonna need like what? A couple of fibers here. Let's see. Um, yeah, only two. Okay, good. And well... This will help with the morale. Since we are in a lot of pain and everything. There we go. Uh, I would like to make some holes. So if I forget later, we don't get in trouble. There we go. And... Oh! There it is. Okay. Well, we are mostly clean. I'm just gonna bait once more just in case. There we go, because when you put aloe vera on, it will uh, go away if you go and wash, so... Here we're pretty much deciding we will not wash for a bit. Oh, well, that's not good. That was a mistake, should have saved it for the X, but it's alright. Uh, let's make another one. Okay, well, another thing we want to do here, we want to find some, uh, we want to find some stones. So we can make a campfire. So we're going to go to the rocks, search it a bit. I don't know how many I need, I'll just search a bit. This hurts the feet as well. Okay, well, that's probably enough. Uh, maybe find a crab or something. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, let's go to the outskirts, find what we need for the campfire. 
We don't need to do it tonight, but if we do, that will be nice. Okay, we also gonna need some sticks, so unless we can find some. Well, we found some. We need more, because we need also sticks for the fire maker. And, well, we're not gonna have everything we need here, sadly. Okay, we are a bit sleepy as well. Let me break that. Let me make that handrail, why not? And let's sleep a bit. Uh, we are a bit hungry. That's all right, though. We can eat that. So first two days are pretty trivial when it comes to water, at least. As you can see, I'm well hydrated. And when I uh, drink a coconut, my stool is still doing pretty well. So I will like to eat some coconuts tomorrow, so... Maybe not push that too much since you'll get a bunch of free water the next day. But then <laughs> then the tutorial really starts like at the point where um, where we use our first rains and uh, well then we are like, okay, what now, right? Basically what happens after the first rain, which pretty much comes uh, very fast, it's the question what to do because that's the point where you would usually build the coconut flasks and uh, i'm gonna show you how to get to the jungle how to get some water going and well also what you can use to slow down the process of uh, getting dehydrated okay let's sleep here let's see if i can have anything to do well i can extract some fibers here so palm fronds really not needed right now, seashells not needed. I'm gonna take some with me to the right side. You can freely move between these two, so use it a lot, use it often. Um, so for the camp, we have the stones, but uh, we are lacking one sticks, so we can't make it yet, but soon we'll be able to probably. Okay, let's sleep a bit more. Okay, now we're gonna eat some coconuts. And we're gonna wait for the rain to fully hydrate. Mm, our morale is pretty good as well, that's nice to see. Um, and I would like to go and find those sticks, good. So now we can make the fireplace, we can make it burn, there we go. We will get some embers, which is pretty cool because with embers uh, you are able to make an axe handle and that will make things easier, okay. Well, we are seriously depressed, so that will come in place soon. Right now, I want to make a bunch of coconut bowls, though. So I'm gonna break my coconuts. There we go. Get that food out. There we go. Some rain. Let's fill this up. So fully hydrated. That's good. And then I also want to get fed. Don't eat, though, coconuts if you're feeling sick of them, so... That's something to keep in mind. Now we are tired of eating coconuts, so stop. But we managed to stop the morale usage. We were a bit lucky. If you get depressed, don't worry about it. You will just do some nonsensical action, but that's a, not a big deal. Uh, now I would like to build a shelter. We're gonna need an axe for that. Okay, uh, other than that, I wanna explore here. I wanna push my way towards the jungle and that will help us go and find some extra sources of water. Let me apply some more aware though, so this pain goes away and our morale goes up uh, faster. I'm not gonna drink any more coconuts, so I'm just gonna break all of them. Some fibers here, that's gonna come in handy. I might wanna make a rope, so I fail less when climbing the palm trees. Um, we're still a bit tired of coconuts, so let's continue exploring here. Our feet will start hurting real bad soon, so don't overdo it, I'd say. 
I just want to break these. And there we go. So now our goal is to find the jungle path, cut through it, and uh, then we'll be able to well go to the jungle and find what we need. We can also cut down and eat some lemongrass. Mm, you're gonna get better at herbology for it, which uh, brings its own nice perks. Okay, so now our embers are ready. We're gonna take them out. We're gonna put them on wood. This is the most efficient way to make an axe, so we don't have to spend three hours carving it. But even if you do, it's not a huge deal. Okay, now we cannot go through there anymore, so I'm gonna use this time to go and uh, get some more lemongrass. We have a lot here. Don't worry about not having a shelter for the first day because um, uh, game is like a bit easy on the start. It makes sure you don't just straight up die from a disease or something. It's really hard to get a disease on the first day. So here we're gonna make a, an axe. So we don't have a sharp stone anymore, so I should probably get on that. But. Uh, First I'm gonna cut through this a little bit, so you need to use it four times, it will like uh, get out a lot of durability out of your axe. There we go, so now if you want we can go into deep jungle, we are very close to actually getting to the pond at this point. Um, I don't think I wanna take out uh, like um, embers and such, I'm gonna leave this fire burning, so it provides at least a little bit of heating and uh, I will actually work on my shelter here, why not? So, that's the next thing we kinda wanna need, kinda need, want. We have a lot of palm fronds on the beach as well, which we would like to put in that before they spoil. We are a bit hungry, but we are not tired of coconuts anymore, so let's, uh, let's grab some. Okay, cool. So let's see, two cords. Well, we have a couple of cords. Good, built. Ten fronts. Okay, well, let's go and grab them. I think they should still be there. Is day three? No way, they spoiled already. So shuttle will protect you against the light rain pretty adequately, I would say. It's not a huge help, but it helps. Yep. So now soaking wet should be going down, let's say if I open a coconut, you will see I'm getting a bit drier because I'm hiding under this lovely shelter of ours. Okay, let's take some of more of these out. Make sure, sure you fill all these uh, bowls, they will evaporate over time, but they will hydrate you pretty well until you find uh, a better source of... Uh, water okay so yeah <laughs> basically the tutorial starts here uh, I'm not gonna climb any more palm trees I'm gonna sacrifice one palm tree here by cutting it down by sacrifice I'm not gonna get sap from it but other than that you get everything else I want to get some fibers yeah look at that we're all going up nice because our pain is going down so yeah, don't, don't get more bruises, at least until you stabilize a little bit. As you can see, there are more reliable ways to get to get um, to, do, to those nice, nice coconuts. Okay, well, I probably overdid it a little bit on the coconut department, but <clears throat> uh, it is useful. Okay, we are a bit tired, so our morale will start going down, so I suggest Go take a bit of a nap. We have a fire, so... Okay, well, maybe a little bit more. We have a fire, so we can craft freely. We can't, just can't do the environment things for now. Okay, let me eat another coconut. Always check if you're sick of them. If you're sick of them, stop. Eat something else. If you keep the food full, you will be nice and, well, in a good mood. Also, you will... As uh, more often you eat, the, the longer it will take for malnourishment to show up. If you're playing well, not getting wounded, you'll probably not see it like way later into the games, like 60 days or something. Okay, let's see now. 
I'm gonna feed these to the fire. I don't think I will need them for a bit. Um, what else? I'm gonna leave these ones closed. We could empty these ones. But 12 of these flasks is way more than we need for the next rain, I think. I wanna do something useful here. Let's extract some fibers, but let's not forget about our sleep situation here. There we go. I'm gonna eat the lemongrass. So each time the food meter shows up, I'm gonna grab something to eat. It's a good habit to do. You will not maybe have the luxury of doing it, but uh, if you can do it. Okay, well, our fire is gonna need a bit more fuel. Mm, just branching out here, doing all kinds of different things. So one of our next goals will be to go to the to, to go to the jeep jungle and find a water supply. So we're gonna work on that. And that's gonna pretty much be the showcase. So until day three, I cut down the path. If you don't do it by day three, it's fine still. So the goal here is to get to more water way before this water evaporates. And then I'll show how to like secure yourself for a future. Okay, let's eat another coconut here. Good. Now let's see. Um, it's probably not a good idea to go out before the rain stops as well, because um, you might get sick and that is uh, very problematic for its own reasons. So I suggest like delay it until the rain is done because well, there is no reason to go and uh, rush the more water if the water is still falling from the sky. Basically, that's the logic here. I'm going to burn this. It's a good habit to do. They're going to spoil. I don't think I want anything else from it now that I have the shelter. So it's a nice way to like remove some pressure from your wood wood cutting business uh you don't get wet by doing left and right left and right so it's pretty safe there we go well let's see oh we can build a dead full trap let me see so we need some sticks a heavy stone and a cutting tool uh you probably also need a bait for that not sure but uh We can set it up and at least start training our trapping. That's not a bad idea. I don't know how long it takes to set up those, so <laughs> that might be my decision decision factoring here if I actually make it or not. There's my well. We're gonna need another sharp stone. Totally forgot about that. That's so good, I went for this trap to see. Thirty minutes. Well, that's not a lot. Let's make it. So our trapping will go up now. Cool. And well, these two stones are just sitting around, so I'm just gonna put them in there. There we go. Well, rain is still falling, so I'm gonna do some more traps here. So I was like, what am I even gonna do while the rain is falling? Well, you can do that. You can also take an axe to the jungle outskirts, get some more wood that you're gonna need for the fires. Um, if you want, you can get some ash. Well, I'm gonna get some ash, we're gonna need it for our buddy. And well, I'm not gonna turn it on again now. It's like stopped raining. We have plenty of water here. Uh, gonna eat something and then we're gonna head into the forest. Uh, so we don't need a stone axe. We don't need anything really. We just go in and explore and find some water. That's the goal here. We will also want some, uh, some snake grass because soon we will start to feel lonely. Anyway, off we go. Food will be problem, but uh, there's really no way around that. Exploring hurts in this game, so now there's some cow plant that will help with the pain if you decide to take it, or you can save it later for some worse pain if you're expecting some. There's some snake grass that will let us build uh, our coconut body weston, which will make you a lot, lot happier.
We also found a bandage plant. That's really good if you get wounded somehow. I don't know how you will get wounded unless you attack a boar. Don't attack a boar. Leave it. Let it leave. Let it have its awesome, amazing life. And well, just don't mess with it. Oh, new blueprint Weston. Now? It's been a while since I found some snake grass. That's a bit weird. So yeah, we're getting lonely. We would like to build the Weston. So let's take all the snake grass back. Let's rest our feet a bit. There's really no no rush for us uh, to find some water because we still have plenty here. Okay, well, let's fight the loneliness. Go to the blueprints, build the best one, give it some hair, give it some face. And, oh, well, give it a body. There we go, build it. Cool. Let's talk to him. Hello, imaginary friend. Thanks for keeping us company. We are a little bit hungry though, so let's eat. Eating coconuts will also hydrate you a tiny bit, so that will also slow down the water consumption. But as you can see, this will all evaporate pretty shortly, so you don't need to make too many. So our feet are hurting a bit. Uh, we can like do some more wood cutting here if you want. We can... Oh, we are a bit sleepy. Let's sleep. There we go. I don't... I think we didn't sleep enough this night, but that's fine. Okay, we got some snake grass. We can use that to chase insects away when we smoke our body on the campfire. But uh, generally in the jungle outskirts, there are not many insects, so insects, so you should not worry too much about that. Uh, well, the situation is pretty good, actually. Let me get some more coconut milk. So once my feet are feeling a little bit better, I'm gonna do another exploring run. And in the meantime, uh, we could go like and search the beach a little bit. That's an activity which doesn't hurt your feet. Oh, it does. Well, it didn't on the first day. Let me see. Okay, I'm not gonna do it then. Let's take some more food. Uh, now that you have the the campfire you should start cooking the food so you don't get gut bacteria which will make you sick eventually I'm gonna feed these here there we go and uh, yeah this all looks pretty stable except my feet hurting everything else is fine you know what's good when your feet hurt that's right some aloe vera i'm gonna put this on us so we heal our feet a bit faster there we go when you take an expedition to the jungle, don't go there, explore twice and go back because it hurts quite a bit to transition, it also takes some time, so... Like, do... Uh, do, like, uh, expeditions where you explore for longer periods of time. Just make sure if you're really depressed that you don't get stuck in the jungle. Always remember, you can lose 30 minutes while trying to avoid a boar and you can lose... Um, you can lose two hours if you get depressed. So if your morale is not good, then uh, don't do it. But on f the third day, you should have you should be more more or less stabilized unless you're really bruised up. But even then, if your thirst meter is full and your hunger meter is full and you have your necklace and well, you should you should probably be fine. Okay, let's drink those. Um, I'm gonna ex continue exploring tomorrow. If the rain falls, I don't need to explore. We could use some bait for this, uh, but I will only catch small rodents and such. I'm not sure if I want to use my conches for that. Okay, well, let me just show it off anyway. So let's break these and let's put them inside. There we go. We should probably build some on the shore so we catch the prawns. That's a pretty cool. Uh, we could use another egg. This one will break relatively soon. So I'm gonna make the fire and start building towards embers here. And I'm gonna cut some more wood. Uh, we can find a palm tree and cut that one down as well. There we go. Now these leaves again. Put them here. And good. You can also organize these inventories a bit. So 
I like to put it like that. I like to put the wood on one side. Uh, the leaves is probably best next to the handrail. There we go. I like to put the X all the way on the left. We don't have one though right now, so that's about that. Um, okay, I'm gonna. Uh, 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 let's see here. Crook open some more coconuts. Well, I could. Not much to do here, to be honest. We can make some more fibers, I guess. I'm not gonna make a leaf bed yet. On day four, you still don't need a better bed, so no rush to do that. We could maybe make a rope, so climbing becomes a bit easier. Okay, embers are ready. Take them out, put them on a piece of wood to make a new axe. The first one broke real fast because it breaks a lot when you cut the path. The second one will last you a lot more longer, so. Don't worry, you will not spend most of this game just making access. Let's sleep a bit. We are uh, a bit tired. There we go. So the wood handle is ready. I could use my 60% sharpened stone on it. Zzzup. I like that sound when you make the rope. It's so satisfying. We could also build towards the loom. I guess. We have some sticks, right? Well, not here, but we found some in the jungle. Well, we can peel these. You can peel with axe for free, so we're not really doing anything smart here, but uh, it's night and we don't have anything else smarter to do. Well, except maybe sleeping, right? That, uh, <laughs> that sounds like a useful thing to do. I'm gonna remove these meats because these are going to spoil soon. I'm gonna reset it. Uh, it's a balancing thing. Don't ask me why it works like that. Okay. Let's eat some. And there we go. Well, it's night. We can go and explore some more if we want. Just make sure you drink these. There we go. Uh, now, I probably want to turn this off and go exploring a bit more. Uh, yeah. So empty the inventory so you have more room, go to the jungle, uh, if you're low on water, take the water bowls with you so you can fill them up, and push it, push, 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 and if you're high on water, then take care of your feet, uh, some bananas, that's some pretty good food, you can eat it or save it for later, depending on what your situation is, okay, we found the wetlands, Old trail, don't follow it, that will lead you to the boar. That's probably not the thing you want to do. So transition between wetlands and deep jungle just hurts your feet a bit. So you can go to wetlands and find the pond. Once you find the pond, you're pretty much home free. Well, for a little bit at least. Oh, there's the boar. Boar will waste you 30 minutes trying to avoid it, so yeah. Our feet hurt a bit, but our morale is pretty good, so we can continue exploring here. This is basically the goal of the tutorial, to find some uh, drinking water supplies. Okay, some bananas. Well, I'm gonna eat. So, I feel a little bit better about myself. There we go. Nice and fat. Let's continue exploring. You can also probably delay this another day, but... Depending on how well you do the first uh, three days, you might be like hurting for water right now. You need to get to 33% or so here. Oh, okay. So we found some water. If you were hurting, you would take some bowls with you, fill them up with water, go back. If you're desperate, you can drink it, but I do not advise it because you might get sick from it. Uh, so here we're going to take our long sticks. And we're gonna take some stones. I'm gonna eat a banana before I go. And we're gonna head back. And now we have a puddle. So that's five water rations here. And there's another one like around here. So yeah, pretty easy. As you can see, we are nowhere near in danger of dying from thirst yet. So, uh, well, I wanted to return. I'm tired, okay. Just make sure when you explore to explore during the day so you don't get caught up with the with the night in the jungle and then if it starts raining you might get sick 
And well, you will be unhappy about that if that happens. Okay, home sweet home. Let's put the sticks. Uh, I'm gonna put them next to the wood. So our feet are hurting now. Uh, I like to take good care of myself, so I will probably stop exploring for a bit. Let's use up the water supplies to hydrate ourselves, and when that runs out, we will start thinking about going to the jungle and that, that, dipping into that uh, into that source. Aloha Vera! Probably not the best idea to use it all, but if you still have some, I have two more here, 17% each. I do advise to like take care of your pain. So that will help with morale and everything. Always talk to Weston. If your loneliness bar shows up, you messed up. So we will be a, bit, be a little bit grumpy. Probably not ideal thing to do. Let me see. Do I have some any leaves here? Or we burned it all. Okay. At some point, you will want to repair your uh, shelter. It's easy to repair. Just put a front on it. Let me see. What's the time? Okay. It's okay-ish. Uh, let's see, we have some coconut meat you can eat. We are not hungry right now, so do it carefully. We are still not full. If it shows up and says you're full, don't eat. You're gonna get nauseated and throw up, and that will produce a counter effect of what you're trying to achieve. Uh, let me see, don't wanna explore here. So what else could we do? Well, we could make an axe and do some wood cutting. There we go. So this will hurt our hands. But as long as they are not super hurt, we will not be unhappy for it. Right now we are unhappy because we are in pain because of the feet hurt. It's pretty hot outside though. If you want to reduce your uh, water usage, you can also do something like this. Like just wear a shirt, not to get sunburned, but others. Not really that much needed. And we have a lot of air on anyways, so. There we go. That should, it's still hot, but that should reduce the, the usage of water from your system. Uh, okay, I actually remember to do that. Pretty happy about it. Okay, let's see. We can do some more wood cutting. If the sunburn shows up anyway, then I was wrong. Leave the shirt on. But I uh, don't you know. In this game, sometimes you have to experiment and find things out. I don't think it can show up while I have a lot of air, though. A lot of air reduces sunburn even while on sun. So we can cut down some small trees as well. It will hurt a bit to find a bit more. So, But right now we can find both trees and palm if we explore. So I'm going to explore once. Why not? Also, we found a palm front. We're gonna use that on our shelter here. Well, a bit later, maybe. Waste not, want not. Let's cut down a small tree. Uh, let's get some more coconuts. You could climb it, I guess. If you don't feel like you're gonna be super unlucky, take the rope. 69%. But I don't wanna get bruised up right now. If my morale was high, I would do it for sure. Okay, now my hands hurt as well, so we're gonna stop there. I'm just gonna do some light activities, uh, like making ropes, making coconuts. Let me see, do I have enough sticks for a loom? I might. Okay, another important thing, uh, drink all the water before it evaporates. If it's about to evaporate completely, just drink it. Drink it all you have. Uh, long stick, fiber cords. Uh, so we need one more long stick. Uh, I kind of want to do that, so. Sorry, feet. Uh, same with. Uh, same with my hands. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna put that all the way here next to the campfire. Good. And now we can start making clothes. That will allow you to make some really nice items. So, yeah. This is not needed for surviving, by the way. So these are all like some extra things I do here to make uh, my life on the island more pleasant. I'm gonna take another aloe vera and the last one I'm gonna save 
Maybe for a sunburn or something. I need another stone. There we go. We are a bit dirty though. There we go. Uh, we're gonna need to make some light now. We are a bit sleepy. I'm gonna sleep a tiny bit. Okay. Uh, let's see. Fire. There we go. So, we can eat some coconuts. I should eat them before they spoil for sure. And we are not hungry, so I'm not gonna eat any more. Let's talk with Weston here. And let's build some more to get some cords and such. Which will help. Okay, it's night. I'm gonna put my clothes back on. This is not super mandatory, but... I'll probably go to the jungle tomorrow again, or when I run out of water anyway, and... Uh, well, instincts will eat us alive, I think, if we don't have plenty of clothes on. Make sure you drink these before they evaporate, so... Uh, sleeping is fine. If you wanna sleep, do it. I'm not gonna do it yet. I wanna do some useful work. As soon as the wakefulness shows up and starts making us moody, I'm gonna do it so, though. Okay, we learned how to make a bag. Okay, cool. We need uh, like bird bones though for it. Let's sleep a tiny bit. Or maybe a bit more. Trapping went up. Oh, we caught a lizard. Well, we can cook it. It's not like a super nutritious, but... Oof, you have to be fast clicking unless it's gonna burn. Let's see. It's not bad, I guess. Okay, the hand pain went away. The feet pain will go away soon as well. We need to drink something. Well, we almost made the mistake I told you not to make. Doing all of these. I don't think it really matters. But do it anyway if it's gonna evaporate. Okay, so now we are officially out of water. So once you get thirsty, go to the jungle and start uh, start using the pond. Okay, well, I'm still gonna hang out here a tiny bit. Okay, let's eat some coconut meat. You could make a deadfall trap at the at the seagull place that will let you get some uh, birds. It will hurt your feet a bit, so maybe delay it until... Uh, You're better with feet, and right now our water is priority anyway. Talk to Weston. So yeah, just continue doing whatever you want here. Until you feel like, oh, I really need to get some food, right? Uh, some uh, water. We also have some bananas in the jungle. Those hydrate you a bit as well, so... There we go. Plenty of quartz. You will need quartz for clothes, for all kinds of wonderful things. Yarn as well. So you can work on that while waiting for your feet to get better. Or you can just go into the jungle ignoring feet. That's also an option. Uh, let's see. Eat these. Good. Once this is out, we can also wash. So everything looks good right now. Everything looks under control. Uh, you can also drink some coconuts for hydration as well. So that's another thing you can do. So you can survive for like two more days with just coconut water. Maybe you don't even need to go to the jungle just yet. We'll see. Let me cut down some wood. Okay, that's fine. Fine. Okay, we are thirsty. So now we're like doing the day one again. I'm gonna drink some coconuts. Look at that. My stool is like barely even there so you can survive for two more days and then i think another rain will come so you maybe not even need the puddles but we found them anyway just to show it's possible okay let's talk with weston a bit more and now i will so let's see cut down a palm tree now let's rest a bit here let's do some simple activities like making more yarn so this will all turn mostly to clothes. 
Okay, feet are almost good. Uh, okay, let's put this here. You can save one if you want to repair the shelter later. Yeah, well, not much to do here right now. We can make a hole in wood if you want. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on, pain, go away. Mm, let's see. I'm gonna cut down on our palm tree just so I have some light activities. I'm feeling a bit peckish. Well, we can sort that one out. There we go. Okay, peel some coconuts. Alright, I know what we can do. Totally forgot about it. We made a loom. We made a loom, so we can put some yarn on it. And congratulations, your first cloth. There we go. As soon as this pain is gone, I'm hoping that the morale will start going up again. Let me wash myself now. There we go. Some aloe vera here. Oh, we have plenty of aloe vera actually. There we go. Once your herbology is 17%, you'll be able to make a palm sap. And, well. If you also make some clay vases, that's uh, you will be able to make wine. I like wine; it's really amazing. It's a uh, it's a reliable water source. So, yeah, we got depressed a little bit because life on the island is wrecked really hard. Let me sleep a bit because we are not happy. There we go. Now I'm gonna make some fire. Okay, put that gel on. There we go. Probably drink a coconut. Yeah, we can probably survive on coconuts until the next rain. Um, okay, wanna eat something? Wanna break one open, get some meat. Okay, cool. Feet damage is gone, so now only hands hurt. Good. Uh, let's sleep a bit. If I was in deep jungle, I would aggressively use the campfire to get more ash. So extinguish it, get ash, extinguish it, get ash, extinguish it, get ash, and we would use ash as a temper. But since we are on the beach, you can use sand as temper, so you don't need to do that. So my, I just leave the campfire on, so that's no problem. What else here? Well, we can make some more cloth. You can make larger cloth if you put yarn on the loom. And then instead of making small cloth, you can put small cloth on it and it will enlarge on it. Now you have a cloth. From this you will be able to make shirts and stuff later on. Well, the game wants us to catch a fish. Well, that's a bit tricky thing to do, but uh, we'll get to it. Uh, you, can, uh, you can craft a spear from long sticks. Mm, well, in the morning maybe. Try start practicing some fishing if you like. I would not advise, however, to use the spear to catch the boars. You can get wounded that way. So I'd say go for boars with the bow. It takes a bit longer to get there, but uh, it's uh, safer. So if you get wounded, that will cause a lot of problems. And you don't need problems. This game is already hard enough. Well. Once you know what you're doing, it's not, but uh, if you don't, you will be dying over and over again. So let's see what's our sleep meter, meter like. Okay, so let's say now it's day six. Uh, you don't feel like uh, any rain is coming anytime soon. So in that case, fill up some water bowl, uh, get some water bowls with you. Uh, and go to that pond to secure some more water. Uh, we need to sleep a bit more though. Personally, at this point, I would not do it because my feet will start hurting again. And I think I can sustain off coconuts, but I promise to show you how to... Uh, how to get some water. Let's say you're really bad right now. Let's say you're like super thirsty, your diarrhea meter is rising up. We, you could have also done this the, the the prior day. Your feet would hurt, but 
you would not die from it. So what you would do is you would go to the jungle, and then to the wetlands. Well, we can eat these bananas, doesn't take any time, so... We're full. Ah. Then you go with the with the coconut shells to the puddle. There you go. I'm gonna leave one here. Took too many. I'm gonna take this banana with me. Then you head back. Actually, I'm gonna take the long stick. There we go. So yeah, our feet are a bit hurting, but nothing too crazy. And now you put these here. If make sure if your morale is really low. Uh, these might evaporate, so don't do it if you're about to make a tantrum, so that's kind of important thing to do. Uh, these will evaporate after like a lot of time. So let's say I slept now and then my dude was like, life is so hard and then you have to wait two hours. Well, and bye bye water in that case, so make sure you like have at least some morale when you put them on. Okay, so now we have some more water, uh, should make it easier to survive. Okay, what else? Uh, you can craft the spear here by holding it for 45 minutes, this will be done in 30, but they will survive this 15 minutes. There you go, now we have some water here, you can drink it right away if you like. Okay, just make sure you don't uh, drink boiling water, I actually never drank boiling water, but it sounds like a really bad idea, so don't do it. Okay, let's make another one while we wait we can uh, cut down some trees uh, we can actually explore as well okay our f hands hurt a bit okay there we go so congratulations you secured yourself some extra water and between coconuts between drinking coconuts and this water from the uh, jungle it should be pretty easy to to, to survive uh, to survive the thirst meter, which is full like right now. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off so I don't waste the wood. We have rustic spear, now we can go and try poking some fish. Depending on how good you are, you might have more or less luck, but if you don't have anything else to do, you might as well start learning to spear fish. Alternative is, uh, you can like uh, go to the rocks and try to catch some uh, seagulls with the deadfall traps. That way you will be able to get a fishing rod, which is way more reliable than this fishing spear. As you can see, the fishing spear pretty much sucks. But it, I don't think it hurts, so it's like a nice activity you can do while you're waiting for your feet and hands to rest. So yeah, I'll probably not catch anything. This was a lucky catch. I, I think maybe the first one is even guaranteed to make you like happy or something. I don't know. So another thing you might want to do right now is to like uh, start building a kiln. Kiln will make uh, will help you make vases, vases, which will be a permanent water supply. Uh, so maybe I can also show that. So for that, um, there are two ways you can do it. You can like go back and forth between jungle and here. Or you can try to make a bag first. Uh, if you really, really want to do it earlier, you can just go back and forth. It's not a huge deal. So let me drink another coconut here before we go. So we are nice and thirst. Okay, our stool is a bit high, so I'm going to switch to these now. But uh, let's go to, to the jungle and get some dirt. Okay, so from the dry puddle you will get the dry dirt, but we have plenty of sea water which we can use to make clay and bricks, so that's not an issue. You can also explore and find another puddle if you're worried about uh, water, because this one is dry now, so you can explore to find another one or at least work towards it. But maybe don't hurt your feet too much while doing that, but since we're already here we might as well do it. Okay, we found a sago palm. That one is useful by its own accord. Okay, well, I'm gonna stop now. But next time we come, I'm gonna be much closer to the puddle. So again, if things are not looking good, I can rush that. However, our water supply is fine here, so we shouldn't worry too much. Anyway, 
We have some aloe vera on, so no reason to worry about uh, getting sunburned. Let's leave this here. Let's go get some uh, get some coconut shells. Oh, you can also start making salt if you want. Like all you have to do is uh, fill this up, leave them here, and as long as it doesn't rain, they will turn into salt. Or you can put them on top of the campfire. Salt will be useful later on, but not so much right now. So here we wanna turn this uh, dirt into mud, it takes quite a bit of time, but right now time is our least precious resource, water being the most precious. I'm gonna be a little bit thirsty here, I'm very hot though, so I'm gonna take a bath, nah, it'll be fine. Okay, so we have some muds now. You can combine muds and sand and make uh, clay bricks. mud bricks and with those you can make a kiln and with a kiln you'll be able to make vases later which are really good okay well i don't feel much pain and my aloe vera is almost done and i'm super dirty and it's not hot anymore so i'm safe i don't, will not get sunburned so i'm gonna wash a bit i wanna be dirty Dirtiness causes uh, infections, bacteria, all kinds of nasty stuff, so... Okay, I'm gonna start building a kiln here. And there we go. So we're gonna need a couple of trips, trips to the jungle to make it. If you can uh, make some clay vases before rain free and fill them up when it comes, you will feel much better for the next period before the next rain. But yeah, that's about it. I'm not gonna make this video until vases at this point. Uh, it should be pretty fine. Uh, if you uh, somehow run out of water anyway, there are some other ways you can get it, uh, like from banana stumps. Well, maybe I can show you off a banana stump. Yeah, sure. I'm going to show you a banana stump as well. And yeah, that should be it then. Okay, let me make some fire. Let's uh, cook that fish. Let's talk to Weston. Well, it wouldn't be much of a tutorial if I don't show you the banana stump. Although we are super good on water, so I'm like, yeah, what's the point? But anyway, uh, okay, now fish is done, let's eat it, good. So with fish scraps, you can trap things. Mm, you know what, let me make a seal trap here. So we're gonna go to the rocks. We're gonna make a deadfall trap to, for catching seagulls. There we go. We're gonna need a cutting tool. Um, that was a mistake. Should have brought it with us. So our feet got damaged a bit in the process. But salavi. So every time you transition to the rocks, your feet hurt a bit. So don't do it too much like I just did, build that, put a tra put the fish scraps in it and well, once you catch a seagull that will open some nice new possibilities. Okay, let's go back here, put some wood on there, rest a bit. Okay, let's see, water still doing pretty good. I can, uh, let's see, let's see, let's uh, eat a coconut to see what's our stool situation. So if you're not sure about your diarrhea meter, then always eat the coconut first. And if you see it's pretty high, don't drink coconut water, use normal water instead. Oh, we are feeling really good about ourselves here. Okay, let's see, we can make some more clothes, I guess. We can uh, make even more. We can make some cords. We can get some fibers. Let's check. Oh, I actually never built the sandals. Or did they break at some point? Ah, they probably broke, right? 
sounds insane that I didn't make them. Okay. Make sure you're wearing the sandals or your feet will hurt a lot. I think they broke. That's why we have uh, two coconut husks here. Okay. Let me make some new ones. There we go. But uh, again, the, the pain in your feet will not kill you, so you can play without those. <laughs> you will get a lot of uh, crazy events and spidery bites and so on. But if you're playing like uh, a normal guy without any negative perks, uh, you should be able to handle everything. But why do it if you can build some nice cocoa sandals and avoid all the nastiness altogether? Okay, cool. So we're gonna need a coconut for those, so let's get one. Don't cut down too many palm trees though, you're wasting sap every time you do it. And it does hurt your hands quite a bit actually now that I look at it. Okay, some new cocoa sandals. There you go. Maybe we just took them off at some point. I don't know. Okay. So, the, the, the banana, the banana water. So what you do is you take a coconut shell, you go to jungle, you clear a banana tree. I mean, obviously this is not good. I mean, you're wasting bananas, but just to show it off, if you're thirsty, uh, okay, cut down the tree. And now you get something called uh, a banana stump. I can place a water container here it to fill it with water. So you put it there. So let's say ready in six hours. So every six hours you get another water. So a banana stump can like pretty much hydrate you together with coconuts for a while. So, okay. I'm gonna take these back with us now because, uh, yeah. <laughs> Since we already took them down, we might as well use them. So if you come back in six hours, there will be some water there, which is amazing, if you ask me. That's one of the ways I survived. If you want to be happy with your morale, you can take some of these kava plants here as well. So maybe we take those back instead. Okay, let me show that off as well. So kava root is really good for uh, being good mood while having pain. So right now uh, we are depressed because we are in pain, but if we eat this, this will give us some analgetics, it will remove the pain and we will become happier again. So yeah, and the more you take, the, the bigger effect it has, but uh, right now we don't have to do it, so. Okay, nice. And now we unlocked a sap station. So f for sap station, you can, uh, you can, take sap out of the palm, but you will need uh, vases for it. So until, unless you, s you already have vases, don't go into that. I forgot to turn this off. Okay, so in like six hours, we're gonna go and well, take our juicy, juicy things. We unlocked a new recipe as well. So for cooking, we can make a jungle salad. So we need some banana stems. Uh, well, we only have one. Well, it's all kind of mumbo jumbo, but if you want to feed yourself well, do these things occasionally. Oh, we need oil. We need coconut oil. So for that, we're going to need coconut milk. I don't know if, even if I can do it. Mm, no. You have to level up your cooking first. Okay. Doesn't matter. So yeah, I, I survived in this game for like 60 days without preparing a meal. <laughs> like I was just like eating of the, of the food, of the of the floor, really. Okay, well, let's see, peel some coconuts, there we go, um, feed these to the fire, repair the shelter, let me put the shelter like here wish, there we go, so yeah, bananas, Let's, uh, let's, we are a bit peckish, let's eat something. Okay, good. And, well, everything is doing so well. I'm like, what do I even do right now? 
Uh, yeah, let's make some more fibers. When in doubt, always make more fibers, I guess. I can also eat that thing. It will make you pretty full though, so I don't think it's very good for calories. Take that one out. Well, let's prepare some more coconut meat, I guess. Okay. I could also go and check if the if the trap triggered for the seagull, but I doubt it. Uh, maybe practice some more spear fishing. Yeah, sure. We are on the hot sun though, and we don't have much protection. We are wet though, so that should be fine. Yeah, spear fishing makes you wet, so you should probably not get burns while doing it. We'll see now. How long does it take? Thirty minutes. Okay. Well, don't worry, once you get better at it, uh, you will start catching something, eventually. Mm, okay, I'm gonna leave it here. You have to train a bit though. So, uh, now we can go back uh, to the jungle, let's take an empty bowl. Okay. So this is like 80%, so if we took it out earlier it would be less than 80%, so you can get at least 5 of these. So this will last for like a day and a half, and you can get a bunch of water from it. So yeah, some nice water source here. Uh, let's see, you can take sticks with us, I should have emptied the inventory first. Let's take a handful of bananas and well, let's go back. It's probably best idea when you find your first banana tree to turn it into water maker and then maybe go for wetlands even later, but now this is just like over optimizing things. I'm gonna drink this one which is on which is like getting a bit stale and tip. So banana trees and then yeah. Work towards clay vases, so later you don't have this problem anymore. At some point if you have enough clay vases filled with uh filled with uh, Water, you shouldn't worry about the water anymore, then you start worrying about food. So yeah, made some more mud bricks, uh, finish the kiln, then make some uh, clay. You do clay by just clicking on the mud pile, make free clay, free sand, you will get a recipe for a clay boss. Turn this one on and uh, put it inside and make it. And uh, once it is nice and cooked, the next time the rain comes, you can fill it. One clay boss holds enough water for three servings. So have fun with those, they're amazing. But anyway, I hope this tutorial shows how in update 9.0 you can get uh, some pretty reliable water intake and not die out of thirst and well, Still also do some nice tech, I did some loom, so it's not like I was just wildly running around. We already have two clothes, a small cloth, cloth, we have a rope even. Um, yeah, we have a trap at the rock place for catching seagulls. You can take a look at that one real fast, but didn't catch anything yet. So this is a really good tech, so once you get that, you can start fishing for fish uh, with a fish pole, which is way more reliable than spear fishing, as you noticed. And yeah, we tacked up quite nicely and still we are not thirsty at all. We have another serving here. We also have plenty of coconuts we can drink if things go bad. Another rain should come like day 9, day, day 10. So we are probably well set off here. But... Uh, with that banana stump and well another banana tree and another pond we can probably survive until day 15 easily with what we have right now so you can also find some more banana stumps and do it again so well without further ado if you have any questions please ask in the comments like maybe you noticed something weird i did or something could be i'm not playing optimally this was mostly focused trying not to die out of thirst uh you can probably rush partridges if you want to some people like to do that you can probably rush the wine on the palms by just going straight, ignoring the feet, get a bunch of clay, make a, make a clay oven. This is more like a chill start where you just play conservatively. I don't know, always avoid the boar and don't go to shipwreck and you should be fine. So yeah, a tutorial how to survive hydration problems in uh, patch 9.0. I hope it was useful. 
and if you enjoyed the video like would be appreciative some subscriptions would be amazing and in the meantime i wish you all a wonderful day thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next episode bye bye